Hi everyone, today we want to talk about how to handle bad reviews. And reviews are part of business. That's just a fact. And they can make you and they can break you. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, ding the bell, and like us, please. Okay, let's get started. So it's a five-step process. First thing you need to do when you get a bad review is park your ego. You've got to put it aside, like just leave it over there because it's getting personal and it's getting raw and you might think you've, you did the best treatment ever, but the person is telling you something. That's what you need to listen to. Now as a clinic owner, okay, I've been doing this two decades. I've seen a lot of bad reviews and I've talked to therapists. They've done amazing treatments, but as I say to them, the ego is getting in the way of us figuring out what the real feedback is from the client. So number one, park the ego so you can clearly look at what's going on. Okay, number two, gather as much information as you can. So if you're a sole practitioner, well, you've got the review, <clears throat> read it, read it several times. Just really understand what it means, you know? What do those words mean to you? Think about the treatment. Look at the notes you took. Think about the entire interaction. Did you book their appointment? How were they when they booked the appointment? How were they when they came in? How were they during the treatment? How were they after the treatment? Most people are gonna be kind of um, poker faced. You won't even notice that it's going wrong. And then suddenly, wow, 24 hours later, you get a bad review and you're like, oh no, what went wrong? So really important, get that information. If you're in a clinic, ask the reception staff. Ask other therapists. So if this person has been treated several times by other um, therapists, ask the therapist and say, hey, you know, what about John? What do you think about him? How, you know, how is he a, a client? Um, and be honest, say, hey, I got a bad review and I just wanna do good. I wanna do my, you know, my best for this guy. And I really want to understand from your perspective, is there anything that could help me make this outcome better? So ask as many people that have an impact on the treatment as possible. So that's two, right? Two, grab as much information as you can. Third, now this is, it's, it's getting tougher, okay? Third is where you make the phone call. Pick up the phone, dial John, and talk to him. And you gotta understand from his perspective. Again, this is where the ego can sort of percolate up. You can get triggered. Uh, they might say things that aren't even accurate about the treatment or about what you know that you need to do for the condition. Don't worry, let them talk. You wanna get out everything that they're thinking about the treatment and then you want to actively engage with them and you don't um, don't make excuses don't come up with sort of answers that 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 like a boom suddenly solve the problem that's typically what they don't want to hear they want to hear that you heard them so it's making the call active listening making sure they feel heard and not getting triggered Number four, reimburse their money. Every single person in my practice, it doesn't matter. If they didn't like um, the table, if they didn't like the fact that um, they, um, their parking was, um, was running late and, uh, and unfortunately they arrived late and therefore they were in a fluster and there might have been a person at the reception desk and so that started to accumulate an issue for them and then they came in here. Again, I don't care about the reason. I wanna give them their money back 
or credit it, give them another treatment, whatever it is, and I want to start fresh with that client. So five, ask them what works for them. And quite simply, as you get through the treatment, this is what you can say. John, thank you so much for giving me that feedback. I didn't understand it that way, and I will certainly make those changes. And what I want to do is I want to give you your money back. You know, I want to credit you that, that treatment, and then I want to know what works for you moving forward. Because the only thing that counts is that I can help you. That's all I'm doing in life. I've dedicated my life to therapy, and I want to make sure this works. So let me know, moving forward, what works for you? And again, let them talk. So they might say, oh, well, Mark, um, yeah, if I could just come in next week, and um, that would be wonderful. And, and you know that would just real like thank you and you'll realize when you do this properly the client will thank you and be engaged and that's the outcome you want so there we go there's the five-step process and again I've had clinics for 20 something years and I've had nothing but success with this approach this five-step process will get you to the same outcome absolutely will. So please go out there, take action. I can't wait to hear about it. See you in the next video.